But now, let's say you have foods that you have on a repetitive basis. Let's say that you have foods that you go to Chipotle and you have a certain type of bowl that you have. You have a protein shake that you have on a frequent basis. You cook a casserole. I'm going to show you how you want to do this. There's a couple of different ways to do this one here, but what I'm going to get you to do is you're going to go back to the more. And from here, from more, what you're going to do is, where did I put that? Meals, recipes, and foods. Click on this. Meals, recipes, and foods. This is where you'll be able to input, let's say you come up with a really crazy protein shake like I do right through here. I've got this really nutty protein shake that I did. And from here, you can actually input nutri nutritional information for a protein shake. So let's do one. Let's create a recipe. So you can add it from the web if you got the link to it, or you can enter the ingredients manually. So let's say we're going to do... I'm going to do Granny's Breakfast again. Now, Granny's Breakfast was a super shake or is a super shake that we use a whole lot here uh, at RTC and YBL. So it's going to ask you to title it so you know what this is. How many servings is this? So this is just one serving for right now, but let's say you did a giant casserole and it's going to serve nine people. Then you can do that one. Check mark. You're going to say, hey, do you want to add ingredient or edit ingredient? We're going to add ingredient. So one of these things I had... Um, I'm going to put in protein powder. And this one I had dimatized. I know I didn't spell that right. Give me, cut me a break on this one. So here we go. Dimatized, we're going to say I had vanilla protein powder. I'm going to click on it. And I had one scoop of it. Awesome. So it starts blowing it up. Next, I had a whole green apple. So I'm going to type in green apple search anything with the green arrow means it's been verified so basically it's kind of like instagram you're cool now you're legit you're verified it's been verified by the company my fitness pal other work has gone through a few extra steps to go hey this is legit because you see a bunch of different look we got angry orchard one bottle right through here yeah you may not be having that one at breakfast click on this yes add that in there here's the next one okay let's add an ingredient to it i had low sugar Quaker Oats Oatmeal. Search. Here we go. I had a low sugar Quaker Oats Oatmeal. Apple and cinnamon. This is actually the exact one I do get when I put it in the shake. For this one, though, for my shake, I have two servings. All right. Not done yet. That ingredient. Flax seed. Okay. From here, I have flax seed. I do know that that's the one I do use right through here. I measured it out. I have a third of a cup. Then I also add spinach. This is a legit shake right here, guys. So this isn't something I'm making up on the spot. This is a shake I do have. And I do add spinach to it. All right, so now we take a look. Now we have everything there. It's a 622 calorie shake. Now guys, this is something that I would do. It may not be anywhere near your size. For these people who are like, hey, this looks kind of good. I'd like to try it. My best recommendation is to bring this down to one and you're at a little bit more manageable. Or you can take out, uh, reduce the fat of the flaxseed because the flaxseed does add in quite a considerable amount of calories and you can do something of that nature. So hit the right arrow button when you're done, hit save, and bam, you're right there, it's done. So let me actually delete this one that I did. Okay, so now we have that shake. So what's cool about this one is if I go to hit that uh, check plus button, hit food for breakfast, I want to add my, go to recipes, my granny's breakfast shake, click on it, click add. There you go. Automatically adds in those really complex shakes that you really never able to get. So we're not done yet though. Let's go to more, meals, recipes, and foods. So here's meals. Meals gives you the option that if you have a meal that you have every day, you're a routine person, you have, you know, a cup of egg whites, spinach, and peanut butter. I don't know, guys. You just live your best life. I mean, it's up to you on this one. Whatever floats your boat. You can actually input this here, create a meal. So this way, if you have the same meal on a frequent basis, meal two, you go to the meals, and it'll be right down through here of the meal. Like This is one that apparently I've used more often. What meal was that? 
chicken breast and jasmine rice. Cool. So I apparently had five ounces of chicken breast and jasmine rice as meal two on a frequent basis. So it lets me know that, hey, look, this is here, or you can have your own independent meal. Great thing about this, guys, is it really saves you a lot of time on this one. Now, the next option is foods. Foods, this is what I use when I know I'm going to go to a restaurant such as AKA Chipotle. Yes, I do love Chipotle. And I will get on the website, kind of get my customized bowl. Um, and this way I kind of know within approximation what I'm going to have. So from here, I can get in and I can say Chipotle, no guac bowl, tell how the serving size, input all the information that I find on the website. And add that to the diary if I see fit. So let's say that I did, oh, wrong button. Food, let's say for meal three, I go to recipes, oh, my foods, and I had a no guac bowl from Chipotle. There we go. Man, I'm smoking those carbs right now, as you can see. So right here, guys, you can see these are easy options just to make life a lot easier when it comes down to starting to track your carbs, especially tracking your foods. The best option I can tell you right now, guys, is always use that bar scan option. Always use that scan code. When you scan it, this is where you're going to get a lot of, save a lot of time for you right here. And it's already been a lot of pre-populated information. Use this, guys. Use this. It will help you. 